Today we are going to build a decision tree step by step in Python. Let's read the dataset we are going to work with first. I'm going to import pandas first. Then pandas that read CSV function will be called and here I'm going to pass the dataset name. It's golf.txt and this is going to be my data frame. Let's see the content of the data frame. The data set stores golf playing decisions based on some features, for example, or lock, temperature, humidity, and wind. Decision tree algorithms look for the feature providing the maximum information gain. No matter which decision tree algorithm you are running, it could be ID3, C4.5, CART, CHAIT, or regression trees. Now I'm going to build a ID3 decision tree algorithm. That's why I'm going to create a dictionary and uh, pass algorithm K as ID3. I will also use ChefBoost framework. You can install it with pip install ChefBoost command. And here I'm going to call from ChefBoost.training and import that's training module then I'm going to use training modules find gains function and pass data frame and configuration as arguments and that's going to be gains let's see the gains pressing outlook feature offers the highest information gain among the features that's why the uh, first level control is going to be outlook here i'm going to create a generic find decision function and feature names are going to be inputs of those function temperature humidity and wind here uh, we are going to check the uh, content of outlook first if outlook is equal to outlook has three different classes sunny overcast and rain check the content of outlook here here overcast and finally rain I'm going to add here a markdown and this is going to be generic function. Now I'm going to check the uh, sunny outlook, overcast outlook and rain outlook separately. I can do it just like that. If outlook is equal to sunny. Let's do same control for other Outlook contents. As seen, uh, if Outlook is equal to overcast, then all decision values are yes. That's why I'm going to add a return value yes. But in both sunny outlook and rain outlook, there are no and yes classes in the sub data set. That's why I need to apply same find gains uh, function for sunny outlook and rain outlook. We are going to call training dot find gains here, and uh, we are going to pass sunny outlook sub data set instead of uh, data set itself as seen here I also dropped the outlook feature because it, it's always sunny that's why I'm going to call drop and pass outlook feature to drop and also I need to pass the configuration uh, content here in this case, humidity feature offers the highest information 
gain. Uh, that's why we are going to check humidity was equal to that's uh, values are high and normal. Otherwise, that's going to be normal. Let's see the uh, decision values based on the humidity classes. If humidity is equal to high, then uh, the decision will be no. Otherwise, humidity is normal, then the decision will be yes. We are going to return yes result for uh, normal humidity and no result for high humidity for the stony outlook case. Let's find the gains for rain outlook. Training dot find gains and uh, pass rain outlook sub data set and also drop the Outlook feature here and here pass configuration as well. In this case, wind feature offers the highest information gain. That's why I'm going to check wind in the uh, Outlook is equal to rain case. If wind is equal to, let's see the content of wind. It could be weak and strong. That's why I'm going to check. Wind is equal to weak or wind is equal to strong. Let's see the content uh, of uh, those values. As seen, if wind is equal to weak, uh, the decision is always yes. That's why we will return yes. And let's uh, see the strong wind case. If the wind is equal to strong, then the decision is always no. That's why let's add return no term here. We have built this decision tree with ID3 algorithm because, as you might remember, we have set the algorithm K uh, to ID3 in the configuration. You can uh, set the algorithm. Uh, here C 4.5 classification and regression trees or shortly cart or chate those are decision tree algorithms for classification data set or the decision column of your data set is numerical then it could be regression trees no matter uh, which decision tree algorithm you are running uh, they all look for the feature offering the highest information gain. Actually, uh, those metrics are called uh, information gain in ID3, gain ratio in C4.5, uh, Gini index in uh, CART, chi squared value in chain and standard deviation in regression trees. But uh, as I mentioned, they all uh, look for the feature offering the highest uh, metric uh, among those algorithms. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.